Robocop 2 is a platform shooter video game based on the 1990 film of the same name. The game was released for several platforms, including Amiga, Amstrad GX 4000, Atari Street, Commodore 64, Game Boy, Nintendo Entertainment System, and ZX Spectrum. Ocean Software developed and published several versions, and Data East manufactured an arcade version. Gameplay Robocop 2 is based on the 1990 film of the same name, in which a Detroit cyborg cop known as Robocop must stop a drug distributor, Kane, from spreading a new drug known as Nuke. The Game Boy and Nintendo Entertainment System versions are primarily shoot-em-up games. They differ from the Amiga, Amstrad GX 4000 and Commodore 64 versions, which also differ from each other. In addition to side-scrolling platform levels, the Amiga and ZX Spectrum versions include other levels consisting of first-person shooting galleries, an aspect from the original Robocop game, and a puzzle game in which the player must help Robocop remember his memories by arranging certain electronic chips. <laughs> <laughs> development and release The Amiga and Atari Street versions were developed by Special FX and published by Ocean Software, which also developed the NES and Game Boy versions. Programming of the Amiga version began months before the film's release. As a guide, the Special FX development team was given a pre-release version of the film that excluded several scenes. The team was also given a preliminary script of the film and pictures of the characters. Audio samples from the film, including Robocop's gunfire and footsteps, were added into the Amiga version. The ZX Spectrum and Amiga versions include digitized scenes from the film. In the United Kingdom, Ocean released the Amiga version in November 1990, followed by the release of the Amstrad GX 4000, Game Boy, and Atari Street versions the following month. A Nintendo Entertainment System (NES) version had been released in the United States by April 1991. An arcade version, manufactured by Data East, was also released in 1991. Reception The Amiga version received praise for its graphics and sound, but some reviewers criticized its lack of originality. Rays called it, "...challenging and extremely well presented," and noted the, "...especially addictive." Puzzle sections. The one, reviewing the Amiga version, considered the game to be an improvement over its predecessor, particularly for its platform-based gameplay. However, the one noted that the game omitted several notable sequences from the film. CU Amiga praised the addictive gameplay and called Robocop 2 the best licensed product of 1990. Moff Evans of Amiga Format criticized the difficult controls, but praised the gameplay, calling it enjoyable. Amiga Power also criticized the controls, while Amiga Computing criticized the game's difficulty. Computer and Video Games, reviewing the Amiga and ZX Spectrum versions, noted the difficult gameplay as well. The Atari Street version received praise for its graphics and sound, as did the ZX Spectrum version. Crash praised the ZX Spectrum version for its various gameplay styles, stating that they make Robocop 2 one of the few games actually worth the asking price. Crash concluded that the game was fast, furious, addictive and a hell of a lot of fun to play. Your Sinclair, reviewing the ZX Spectrum version, considered the game to be better than its predecessor, noting larger levels and stating that the game was one of the best film conversions Ocean have ever done. Mean Machines praised the graphics of the Amstrad GX 4000 version, but criticized the incredibly frustrating gameplay. Commodore Format praised the sound and gameplay of the Commodore 64 version, but criticized the gaudy graphics, stating that they lacked atmosphere. Nintendo Power, reviewing the NES version, noted that the character of Robocop can be initially difficult to control. The ZX Spectrum version won Best Game Overall in the 1990 Crash Readers Awards, after being chosen by 21% of the magazine's readers. The ZX Spectrum version also won fifth place in the 1990 Year Sinclair Readers Awards, and by April 1991 had reached second place in UK sales behind Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. <laughs> 